Hello and welcome to the Hooray Cookies edition of how to paint your planet. So let's have a look. I've got here Jupiter. You can tell this one's Jupiter because it's the biggest of all the planets. And then you've got your paint palette one here. There's green, dark blue, light blue, a lilac, red, dark red, light red, orange and yellow. So for our Jupiter, going to look it up first to see what kind of colors we've got so on our Jupiter there's some oranges it's a big red spot and there's a bit of a brown and yellow as well so when you're checking your palettes or checking your planets you can look it up what sizes they are and then line them up so you know which colors are which so got a little dish with some water here and just a paintbrush but yours will come with a paintbrush as well you just dip it in the water make sure it's not super super wet and then you rub it on the spot on your palette like this and you should start to see some color just a little bit there so far which might mean that my brush is just a little bit too wet and it hasn't dissolved some of this color yet I think my brush is very wet starting to get some orange it's a little bit easier to get some of the darker colors I can see that Jupiter's got this big orange line across the middle and these blobs here are actually just icing that's been piped on but the ones that you'll be getting will be they'll be white blobs and then I'll use my airbrush machine to spray paint them and it should make the color a little bit easier for you to get but this is not too much to it you need paper towel underneath, you need your paintbrush, maybe a little dish or a glass for water and then you just paint away. And make sure to keep checking as well which colours your planets are because you want to make sure that you get the right ones. I'm going to do a bit of a red spot here. Now I'm not going to preview the whole set for you because I'd love to see your creations when you're done. You can ask your mum and dad if they have Instagram or Facebook upload it and make sure to tag me because I'd love to see what you do with it. I always loved teaching solar systems when I was a primary teacher and so this is really special for me to be able to create this for you. I've got my big red spot. Red's a really nice colour. Oh, dropped my paintbrush. Oh, it's okay. I got it again. And start putting some yellow on and then this this darker red that you've got in the middle here ready purple is really good so add some different layers in there as well it doesn't have to be perfect at first stroke you can go back a little bit later and you can keep painting keep adding different colors through the whole point of doing some art is not that it's perfect the first time it's that you keep trying and you keep adding different layers you know, sometimes when i'm decorating cookies it actually takes about three or four different layers of icing to be able to get the design that i want and sometimes it even takes me about 15 minutes per cookie after it's baked and the icing is already mixed just to decorate it because just do little by little just do some extra things just to give it that little shine and Jupiter's got a bit of a orange belt about here and again your colors will be a little bit easier to see a little bit better mine are a little bit weaker because they're just icing but you get the really special ones 
put some red down the bottom and blend that up if you want to blend something then you put you get a paintbrush and a bit of water in the paint put it right at the bottom like this and then what I want you to do is just brush off the other paint this is why you have that paper towel there dip it in a little bit of water brush 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 the excess and you slowly go up the corners like this so on your worksheets you've got or your activity sheets you've got some cool things on there about to try and work out which planet is furthest from the sun which one is closest and you've even got something on there about dwarf planets so when I was growing up, there was a planet called Pluto, and then they discovered that it's actually a, called a dwarf planet. So you get to have some fun trying to work out what dwarf planets are and how many there are, because there's actually quite a few. It wasn't really something we learned a lot about when I was younger, but it's something that you can definitely learn about. All right, I'm going to add some more yellow on there. Yellow's a bit tricky to get into, but remember yours will be a little bit easier. But I'm starting to get some good colours because you just, you layer it again and again because you're using like a watercolour, it won't come out super strong the first time. And let's get some dark purpley red in there as well. So there's the big red spot and there's like a purpley brownie bar Jupiter right about here And then what I'd do is I'd actually just let it wait, let it sit, let it dry for a little while and then come back and add some more colour. But I've got the outlines of where I want things, which is really good. I've got my brownish bar and I'll do a bit of a orange bar underneath that. And remember you can blend it together by just using a damp paintbrush. So make sure to keep wiping it off. And then this should feel damp, but not really wet. So that lets you blend the colour together so that it looks like it flows, just like how the sky is lots of different colours, it's all blended together. So it's not like it's darker blue, slightly darker blue, slightly darker blue again. It just all looks like a gradual or an ombre effect where it changes from one colour to another. That's why you do your blending and why some of these colours are really, they're actually quite close together so that you can get a really cool effect. So Jupiter is our, it's called the red planet, the red giant, because it's the biggest planet in our solar system.